Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to have a look at blob dot sentences. So, as you've seen last time around, blob dot words couldn't print the entire book. I think it's worth doing the same test with blob dot sentences. So we can simply start off by printing, or maybe even by going type type blob dot sentences. So I expect this to be a list. So this is a straight up, you don't even have to convert it to a Python list. With blob dot words, it was like a special type of uh, text blob list. Blob dot sentences is a list. And we can now try to print it and see if it can print the entire book. And that's, that's pretty interesting. So blob.words, like if you're doing a really long list of words, you know, idle can't quite handle it. But blob.sentences does the whole book pretty cool. So just like in blob.words, we can say for s in blob.sentences. And then you can play with this, you know, like, for example, if you want to print like the longest sentences, I don't know if Twitter is 140 characters, a long sentence would be like a double tweet. So you can see something like if len of s, if that's greater than 280, then that's like a double tweet sentence. And then you can print s and s is a sentence. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's pretty long. So when you print the sentence, it actually says sentence. Wait, I just got to make sure that we're in the right spot. That's, aha. Uh -huh. So blob dot sentences, when you printed that, it actually said sentence and then sentence and then the sentence. When you actually just print S, it prints a brand new sentence on every new line. That's what it looks like. So for example, I mean, let's get into the part where we're actually, Gutenberg is obsessed with, uh... okay, he organized armies, cross boundaries, Full stop, new sentence, full stop, new sentence. So it's basically every time there's a full stop, the new sentence starts on the next line. So that is what happens when we print all the sentences greater than, say, 280. And we can try something else. Like if, if, maybe a word. What's a, what's a word? Radical. If radical in s print a sentence. So, yeah, it isn't. Okay. What about horse? I think the book is about Alexander the Great. Wow. Horses, in order to send out horses. So there's a lot of horses inside this book. Um, what about battle? Alexander marched his troops of the ground, leaving as the direct result of the battle. So, I mean, you can have fun with this all kinds of ways, you know, life or death. Almost tell the style of the author. Not once in the whole book of Alexander the Great did he use the phrase life or death. I bet that India would be featured because that's where Alexander perished. There you have it. So just to conclude right here, this is a very, very, very important code structure. We are going to be using this in future tutorials because we'll be able to separate, for example, the sentences with 
the most uh, extreme sentiment where the author is either really happy or really sad, the sentences that are the most objective and the sentences that are the most subjective. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next tutorial.